So today what we're going to be tying up are some whirly gigs for lake trout. Uh, so we started using these a couple years ago. Uh, they're made by Dreamweaver Tackle. Um, the majority of people that fish lake trout are using uh, spinning glows. All right, so there's a double spinning glow. There's a, there's a few of them right here. Um, single, double, big one, right? And here's a whirly gig. So uh, they're a little bit different than a spinning glow. Um, here is a, uh, a regular spinning glow right here. Um, so it's made out of uh, some sort of foam that floats um, where a whirly gig um, is going to be mo more molded out of plastic. Um, it's got some hollow uh, as well as hollow inside. Uh, it's got a couple of little water ports in the back. Um, so a little bit different action than a spinning glow. Um, I find they work just as well. Um, uh, the thing is with Dreamweaver, they don't sell them pre-rigged. So you have to have to rig them yourself. So they're just gonna come with this one piece of uh, uh, plastic, the attractor. So what we're gonna be doing today is rigging them up um, to put behind a, a spin doctor uh, or a tin can uh, to target lake trout um, out of Lake Michigan. So, um, so the finished product is gonna look something like this, right? Uh, so what we have here is a treble hook. And then we have a little teaser um, I like these. I, I feel they kind of hide the hook. Um, some people tie them without this teaser. Um, I get these little uh, teasers from ITO Flies. Um, you can find them online. They have a, a huge variety of colors. Um, I try to match them up. So this is a Wonder Bread. Um, so we have the, the hook, the teaser, um, a bead, the Whirly Gig, another bead. And then this is a 40 pound fluorocarbon. Um, to a uh, uh, just a little barrel uh, swivel. Uh, I like that as well. So um, the overall length of these is 30 inches. So I have a little screw on my table here. Um, I come down, I have a little mark at 30 inches, um, which is about 26 inches from the actual first bead uh, to the, uh, to the uh, barrel swivel. So we're gonna tie one up right now. Uh, here's another version of one. So same concept, but it's different color. Again, you can see I kind of match that skirt. So we're going to start with our fluorocarbon line. Um, I don't like wasting this fluorocarbon line. It's fairly expensive compared to mono. So the way I do it is I kind of back into uh, tying this rig. Um, so I'm just going to assemble everything um, in the opposite order uh, uh, from the uh, barrel swivel to the hook. So we're gonna start with a bead. Again, you can do the beads whatever color you want. I kind of like matching them. Um, so I use, a, I'm gonna use a kind of a chartreuse bead here. Gotta get the glasses on. All right, so bead first. Now that is the bead that's gonna be there, our front bead. Then it's gonna be our whirly gig and you gotta make sure you put it on the right way. So the, the line through the front And then one more bead. And then our teaser. Okay. So basically what we have is oh, there we go. So uh, this hand right here with my thumb up, that's gonna go to the spool of, of fluorocarbon. Um, I got bead, whirly gig, bead, teaser, and then I'm going to tie my hook on last. And I just use a regular trilee knot I find with this heavier line. Um, you can tie a polymer if you want. I kind of waste a lot of line when I tie a polymer, but uh, this heavier line kind of digs into itself real nice. so. I don't really have to worry about it slipping. And uh, I don't recall if I've ever had one break before, but it, I, I don't recall it. And then you gotta kind of slide it down and cinch it nice and tight. I usually like to get some pliers. One, one last pull. And then we'll just trim the tag in. So we 
have pretty much the finished product. We just got to tie the swivel on the end. So there's our hook tied on, our teaser, our bead, our whirly gig, and another bead. So now I'm going to stick the hook on my little screw that I have on the table. Now what I find is in order to get 30 inches, I need to cut it 32 inches. So I have a mark at 30, I have a mark at 32. I'm going to cut it at 32. And the only thing I have left to do is tie on my swivel. Again, I just use another trialing knot. Now this one, I find it very important to take the players and get a good cinch, because I can't get a good grip on this like I can the hook. And then trim my tag in. And we have the finished whirly gig rigged up 30 inches from the hook to the barrel swivel for lake trout. So you can kind of get a good look at it here. Complete. So, um, same thing. This is, it's really the same thing if you're going to use a spinning glow. So you can buy these spinning glow bodies uh, pre-rigged up um, or you can uh, just buy the bodies and rig them up yourself. Uh, this happens to be one that the line was damaged uh, last year uh, fishing, so I cut, uh, cut away the skirt, cut away the uh, uh, body. Um, I got the hook, you know, the beads, the, the barrel swivel. It's the same concept. So um, we use these behind pri primarily chrome spin doctors um, out of Ludington, um, primarily on, on wire dipsies, um, dragging right in the bottom. Um, we tried it. Uh, it's a little uncomfortable when you put your dipsies on the bottom at first because you got a lot of money back there dragging behind that uh, that that puck. Uh, but uh, what we found is you get these things near the bottom, you may catch a few fish. Uh, when they're dragging on the bottom and your dipsy rod is doing this the whole time, you know it's on the bottom. You're going to catch probably five to one uh, uh, lake trout compared to the person that is uh, getting near the bottom. So.